So the cop that stopped the guy on the bike is over here. So I'm not sure. But uh, we're gonna see what he's doing. You know, that's what we're out here for. We're just out here to watch the cops because apparently they can't be trusted, you know? So we're gonna watch them. Since they, you know, I mean, that's all this is, is community activism. We're not harassing them, I'm not yelling at them. I'm not saying anything to them. Just watching them. I mean, the police are allowed to watch people in the community. They're allowed to spotlight you, stop you on a bike. If you're a pedestrian, they can do what they call a ped check. But if we do the same to law enforcement, all of a sudden we're harassing them. And we're not harassing them. We're doing exactly to them what they do to the community. I was gonna, you know, be out here violating people's rights. I wouldn't wanna be on camera either. But I told them, first of all, when they did it, I said, you know, that's a violation of the media policy. I have a press badge around my neck that says freelance journalist. You guys are hindering me by putting a white spotlight in my face. And then you're claiming that I obstructed you when I didn't. And, um, Okay, he's coming this way. That is a cop. That is a cop car. <clears throat> so he must have called for backup. Nope, it's not. Man, I sure thought those were cop headlights. There he goes. He's gonna get him. The guy went through the stop sign. And we're gonna walk over there and record it. Let's record it from this side of the street so that we don't have to uh, It's just easier to pan back and forth from over here. He was waiting on it and we're gonna record it. Make sure he don't violate this guy's rights too. Cause they have a habit of doing that. They have a habit of violating people's rights. Now that guy stopped, right? I'll have to go back and look if he stopped at the stop sign or not. I turned my head away so I didn't see if he stopped or not. He's giving me a warning. Is he? Oh no, hold on, what do we got here? He's getting out? Why is the passenger getting out? Oh, he wanted the dog out of there. Yeah, do that, because he might taste it. See him in the window here. And by the way, um, for me being handcuffed, I still have no feeling in three of my fingers on my left hand. 
he damaged my uh one when i got when he took the handcuff off i couldn't use my left hand i mean literally my thumb was numb couldn't feel it could barely feel my fingers and to this day i have no feeling in three of my fingers he uh he damaged my nerves in my hand now i know a lot of people are going to say well sue him blah 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 but i've really been weighing that and praying about it because uh i don't know it's just not in me to file a lawsuit you know what i mean it's as a, as a christian i'm a forgiving person in that respect so you forgive them you know but i'm still gonna be out here recording because I need to uh, ensure that uh, this guy doesn't violate their rights too. But yeah, he damaged the nerves in my hand. I can, can't feel three of my fingers now. Another one, it looks like. Yeah, he's gonna get another one. We'll stay and record. We'll stay and record him. Okay, so Sarge came up here. Let's see what they're talking about. He called Sarge out. <laughs> In fact, let's cross over here and see what they're talking about. Let's see what they're talking about. Yeah, Sarge don't like to be recorded. He acts like he does now in front of the camera because he's trying to play nice guy, but it's too late, man. I've already recorded you spotlight me and Now, look how he, the sergeant's parked. Wrong direction of travel. Wrong side of the road. There's a stop sign here. He doesn't have his lights on. So if someone's coming this way, they're gonna run right into him head on. Doesn't have no overheads on. Wrong direction of travel. See the stop sign? He should be, he should be parked where I'm standing. Or he should turn his car around and park the same way as direction of travel and hit his overhead lights. But he's doing neither. See? So right now, not only is he committing a traffic violation, but it's a safety hazard as well. So he's got both a safety, this is a safety hazard and a traffic violation. Double traffic violation, wrong direction of travel, double parked. 
and he's a sergeant and he's training people. See, this is why I'm recording. Because earlier he said, hey, we're training. Training? Training what? To violate the traffic laws in the city of Yucaipa? Because you got a, the word police on your car? That's not a, a free get out of jail card. Well, I guess it doesn't say that's not a free get out of jail card to go out and commit traffic violations, but obviously it is. Because he's parked the wrong direction of travel, wrong side of the road, we'll say that. And double parked. Let's get this guy's attention so he stops. Yeah, I knew Sarge was coming up behind me because I saw the white lights and I knew it was a cop car. <clears throat> Let's go up here and see what they're saying. Oh, there they go. See, they're not using their spotlights now because they know. So let's see where he goes. If he turns left, we'll walk around the corner. I think maybe. Here he comes. Here he comes. He thinks I'm gonna walk up to my car. Yeah, he's gonna go around here to where my vehicle's at, so we're gonna go up here. 